Hello and welcome to this Dr. Ross Maths key skill video on finding the surface area of a cuboid. Now the surface area of a 3D solid is just the total area of all the faces. So imagine that you were buying some wrapping paper to wrap a present which was in the shape of a cuboid. The surface area would tell you how much wrapping paper you would need to cover all the faces of your present. So all we need to do is just find the area of each of these faces and then just add them up. So we could possibly number these if that's going to help. So this could be face one, face two, face three. Now what's the area of face one? Well it's a rectangle and the area of a rectangle is just the length times the width. So we just do five times three which is 15 and it's a unit of area, it's going to be centimetres squared. What about face two, like here? Well, we can see that the length here is two and the height here is three. We've got a two by three rectangle, two times three is equal to six centimetres squared. And then what about the face at the top? Well, we can see that this length here is five centimetres and then this width here of the rectangle is going to be two centimetres. So we've got a two by five centimetre rectangle and two times five, the area will be ten centimetres squared. Now notice that we've got more faces. We've got another face at the bottom. We've got a face from the left side and we've also got a face at the back. But notice that the face at the back of this cuboid is going to be the same area as the face at the front. And then the rectangle at the left, that's going to have the same area as the rectangle at the right, by symmetry. And the rectangle at the top is going to be the same as the rectangle at the bottom. So if we were to just add this area so far, to find the total area so far, that comes to 31 centimetres squared. But each of these faces is going to appear twice. And therefore, if we just double that area, that allows us to duplicate each of the faces to get the total area which is going to be 62 centimetres squared. So just to sum up, find the area of each of these three different faces here, add them up, and then just double it to also include the faces that you can't see as well.